morning guys how you doing so i thought we could do a little morning routine video only thing is i'm not a morning person and i hate routine but it's fine i can do this we can do this let's go not quite ready yet a few more minutes first thing i do in the morning is assess the hair situation and just pat it down a lot of patting a lot of taming the beast. And once I'm done with my hair situation, I make the bed. And that's falafel, by the way. And then I normally head straight through to the kitchen and pop the kettle on, because coffee is my priority at this time of day. Now today's actually the day we get our milk delivery, so I run downstairs and pick up the two bottles of organic milk. Um, and then it's time to start the daily grind. That's right, I'm grinding my coffee beans. So because I buy these in bulk, I buy the beans loose and then I just grind them as and when I need them. I much prefer freshly ground coffee. If I'm feeling super lazy, then I will grind them in my blender, but I actually really enjoy the process of grinding my beans. So once I've got coffee sorted, it's time for breakfast, all right. This morning, I'm going out in a boat with some porridge oats. I don't have porridge every morning, but I'm having it this morning. So I just pour the hot water from the kettle over the oats into a bowl and give them a good stir around until they get really thick. And then I like to add maple syrup and a bit of milk. And I really like to enjoy my breakfast in bed. I usually read a book or I'll have a little browse through Instagram or my phone and I like to finish off my coffee here too, sometimes out on the balcony but normally I'm in bed drinking my coffee. And then it's shower time. I like a quick in out shake it about kind of shower. So on the right I've got my shampoo bar and on the left is just a bar of soap but normally I actually prefer to use these, which are shampoo and conditioner refills in glass bottles. This brand is called Away, and the salon that I get it from are really happy to do refills for me. I don't wash my hair every day, I just wash it whenever I feel like it needs a bit of a wash. For my body, I'll use a soap bar normally, um, like this one here, which is a coffee one, or I've got a really large block of soap here, which I just slice a chunk off if we need some soap. But recently, I've been using this La Eva wash. It's like a body wash, face wash, and hand wash all in one. It's certified organic, and it smells incredible. It also comes in a glass bottle, and I think the brand is looking at maybe doing refills as an option as well. So it's a really new brand, and they've just launched and I really enjoyed using it. This is my razor. It has one blade which is fully recyclable so I just take that to get recycled when I've got a bunch of them and the razor itself will last a lifetime pretty much. Then I robe up, head over to the bedroom, switch on my Bluetooth speakers and tune in to either a country music radio app or the country music playlist on my phone. I'm a little bit obsessed with Florida Georgia Line and This Is How We Roll is just the best tune to get ready to. Once I've got some undies on, I go back to the bathroom and just pat on some bicarbonate of soda on my underarms. So I like to wait a few minutes between having a shower and then putting this on. And it works really well as a deodorant and keeps any odor at bay. This one comes in paper packaging. You've seen it before. It's by Cabbages and Roses and it's just been super effective for me. It's quite a fine powder and I think that's why it works so well. Then it's time to moisturize my face. This is uh, In Light. They've actually just had a rebrand, so their packaging now looks completely different to this. But they are a certified organic uh, beauty brand, and I'm just so in love with this line softener. It's so nice. This is my toothbrush. So recently I've started using a wooden toothbrush with natural bristles because I wanted to move away from plastic bristles. And this one is a child size version and that seems to work a lot better for me compared to the adult one where the bristles on that went a bit mushy. And I normally use bicarbonate of soda just to brush my teeth with, but I recently found this tooth crystal and let's just say I was intrigued. I think it would be great for traveling because it comes in a little container. You can buy a refill as well. And I really liked it. I've really enjoyed using it. 
If I do remember to floss, which I try to most days, but honestly, I don't remember every day. Uh, so this is our dental floss. It's a little refill and I just buy the floss to go inside that little vessel jar, whatever you want to call it. And these are just a few other beauty products that we have on our bathroom shelf. Most of them are certified organic and they've all got pretty good packaging. I mean, it's not perfectly zero waste, but it's pretty good. And this is a little jar of organic cotton face cloths, which I use if I want to remove any makeup or wash my face. Then I normally throw on my grey robe. So my other one is kind of like a toweling after bath robe and this one I just use to keep myself warm whilst I deal with the hair situation, guys. I mean, I'm doing the best I can here. Also today, for some reason, I've woken up with three very large spots and without wanting to brag, I rarely get spots. So I'm just trying to put a bit of concealer on those. Guys, I couldn't believe it. Get it? Let's get it on, as in let's get our clothes on. I can't prance around in a dressing gown all day as much as I'd love to. So that's the look guys, it's a jumper, jeans and some really tatty, tatty, I mean look, look at that. These are some really old shoes that are beyond comfortable so I now use them as a sort of house shoe kind of slipper type thing. Um, I've run out of slippers basically. When I say run out of slippers, what I really mean is that I left them on a train. <laughs> so there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed my little morning routine. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. See ya!